Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is our focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a subcompact crossover from JAC, the 2020 S4 Intelligent, and a luxury midsize sedan from Mercedes-Benz, the 2020 E180 Avantgarde. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two SUV crossovers, the Honda CR-V SX 980 all-wheel drive and the Mazda CX-8 Signature. On Autopedia, we'll talk all about brakes. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the all-new Honda City as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from JAC. It arrived around the middle of the year, a couple of months after authorities began to ease community quarantine restrictions, just in time to offer an affordable subcompact crossover when many are looking to acquire budget friendly vehicles for safe personal transport in a time of COVID-19. Carby takes a look at the GAC S4 Intelligent. Cool crossovers are now trending. More and more people, especially the young, are buying crossovers. Automakers are bringing in smart and cool subcompact crossovers targeted at the young and entry-level market. One cool-looking subcompact crossover is the JACS4. At 4,410mm long, 1,800mm wide, and 1,660mm tall, the JACS4 is bigger and more spacious than most crossovers in its class and price point. Its 2,620mm long wheelbase 
a factor to providing stable ride and handling, is also longer than most in its segment. The S4 exterior dimensions also allow for a 520 liter cargo capacity in the back. With the second seatback's folded cargo capacity doubles to 1,050 liters. The JAC S4 looks sleek and sporty with a wide stance and a distinctive six-sided grille, slim dark air dam, the over fender and side cladding and rear bumper. The JAC S4 arrived in three trim levels, the luxury, the intelligent and the ultimate. The JAC S4 Intelligent Exterior features halogen height adjustable headlamps with automatic light function, LED daytime running lights, cornering lamps, and front and rear fog lamps. The S4 Intelligent also comes with shark's fin roof antenna, roof racks, and a power moonroof. Enhancing the sporty look to the S4 are 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 215 by 50 R17 tires. Powering the JAC S4 is a 1.5 liter turbo IVVT gasoline engine that generates a maximum 147 horsepower and 210 newton meters of torque. In the S4 Intelligent, the engine is mated to a continuous variable transmission that drives the front wheels. The JAC S4 arrived in local market looking to set itself apart from the competition by being equipped with the latest technology for convenience, safety, and connectivity. The S4 Intelligent comes with smart keyless entry and push button start, electric park brake, auto hold, and cruise control. Inside the cozy interior are seats upholstered in leather. The driver can adjust his seat electronically and the multi-function steering wheel tilts to get the optimum driving position. An LED instrument panel provides the driver all the information he needs about S4 status and performance through three selectable modes. Other comfort and convenience features in the S4 Intelligent include remote controlled windows, automatic climate control, rear windshield defoggers, and heated power adjustable side mirrors. The infotainment system features a 10.25 inch LED touchscreen with Bluetooth connectivity, smartphone link, USB port, and six speakers. Two USB ports are also installed for rear passengers. VS4 Intelligent also comes with a surfate of passive and active safety systems. These include dual airbags, seat belts with reminders for all passengers, ISOFIX and immobilizer. The S4 Intelligent is also equipped with anti-lock brake system with electronic stability control, hydraulic brake assist, brake override system, hill start assist, reverse video images, and 360 degree panoramic images and overspeed alarm. The JAC S4 Intelligent is priced at just under a million pesos. This should make this subcompact crossover a good option for young first-time buyers searching for value-for-money personal transport. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 
2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA 2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. After two successive hits with the Cool Ray and the Escada, SUV crossovers that generated a lot of interest in sale, Sojits G Auto Philippines, or SGAP, is looking to make it three in a row with the Okavango. The Okavango is a seven-seater mid-sized crossover that SGAP exclusive distributor of Geely vehicles in the country, says provides wonderfully distinct features in terms of space, technology, design, power, and safety. During its recent launch, SGAP president and CEO said, coming from the successful launch of the Cool Ray and Escada, we are confident that the new Geely Okavango will be a game changer in the industry as it combines the best qualities of a multi-purpose vehicle and an SUV into one exciting seven-seater mid-size crossover. Geely claims it has space enough to comfortably sit seven adults in three rows of seats that have, count them, 19 seat configurations. The interior also boasts 42 storage nooks and compartments and a triple zone air conditioning equipped in this COVID-19 time with a CN95 filter. The Okavango, named after a river delta in Botswana, listed among the seven natural wonders of Africa, is powered by a mild hybrid engine, featuring a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine and 48 volt electric motor synergy system that together generates a maximum 190 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. The Okavango is priced at 1 million. 208,000 pesos for the comfort variant and 1,328,000 pesos for the urban variant. Lexus Philippines brought in two variants of the compact rear-wheel drive sports sedan, the Lexus ISF Sport and the Lexus IS300H Premier. Both sport the low imposing stance that's a full 30 millimeters wider than its predecessor, the new singular tail lamp that tapers to thin line in the center, and the dramatic character lines that make it look aggressive and forever raring to run. The F Sport is powered by a normally aspirated V6 engine generating 310 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque that drives the rear wheels by an 8-speed automatic transmission. It comes with 235 by 40 R19 tires in front and 265 by 35 R19 in the rear. The 300H is powered by a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder hybrid power plant made it to a Lexus ECVT intelligent transmission. It comes with 235 by 40 R19 wrapped around silver metallic 19 inch wheels. The IS350 Sport will set one back 3,808,000 pesos. The IS300H Premier, 3,328,000 pesos.
Isuzu Philippines Corporation has turned over a brand new EXZ77N tractor head to logistics and transport services firm Neoji Trucking Services. Neoji Trucking has been a logistics partner of a pharmaceutical giant since 2002. Neoji Trucking said the acquisition of its first EXZ77N adds power, efficiency, versatility, and dependability to its logistics fleet and would help in fulfilling or even exceeding the expectations of large-scale partners. During the turnover, Neoji Trucking announced it is in the process of acquiring another brand new EXZ77N truck by December. Sangyong Philippines has rolled out the Tivoli gas port. This marks the return of a gasoline-powered subcompact crossover to Sangyong's local lineup. The Tivoli gas port is powered by the 1.6-liter EXDGI 160 gasoline engine mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and generates 128 horsepower and 160 newton meters of torque. In explaining why it brought back the gasoline-powered Tivoli, Japeth Castillo, president of Sangyong Philippines, said that while the Korean marquee prides itself in its extensive diesel engine crossover and SUV lineup, it believes there is still a large demand for gasoline engine vehicles, especially when they come with eye-catching design aesthetics like the Tivoli Gas Sport. The Tivoli Gas Sport will slot in between the range topping Tivoli 1.6-liter diesel premium and the 1.6-liter diesel Sport in specifications and features. It comes with black fabric seat upholstery and leather-wrapped steering wheel with audio and trip controls shared throughout the Tivoli range, plus a color adjustable instrument cluster shared with the Tivoli Diesel Sport. The Gas Sport will also feature the 8-inch touchscreen LCD smart audio, Bluetooth-equipped infotainment system with CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity found in the Tivoli Diesel Premium. Sangyong expects the special introductory price of 970,000 pesos, 150,000 pesos less than the SRP of 1.12 million pesos, will put the Tivoli Gas Sport high on buyers' shopping lists. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA 2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now.
Seize every moment, even the unexpected ones. The all-new Ford Territory. Own the moment. Live Extra with the new Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Choose your destination, your rocket. Choose ignition. Choose your world. Choose the X1. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on head-to-head. -head. In this edition of head-to-head, -head, we've picked two SUV crossovers from venerable Japanese marks the Honda CR-V 980 AWD versus the Mazda CX-8 2WD signature in a spec-to-spec -spec comparo. Seven-seater SUVs or crossovers are now a dime a dozen in the local market, but only in the sense that there are many of them now, and some cost more than a pretty dime. In the upper brackets of the seven-seater SUV crossover market are the Honda CR-V SX9 automatic all-wheel drive, which costs just a little under 2 million pesos, and the Mazda CX-8 FWD Signature, which costs a little over 2 million pesos. The 2020 Honda CR-V is 4,623 millimeters long, 1,855 millimeters wide, and 1,668 millimeters tall, with a 2,662 millimeter long wheelbase and a 208 millimeter ground clearance. It rides on 235 by 60 R18 103H tires and a suspension featuring front McPherson struts and multi-link system in the rear. The Mazda CX-8 FWD Signature is 4,900 millimeters long. 1,840 millimeters wide and 1,730 millimeters tall with a 2,930 millimeter long wheelbase and a 200 millimeter ground clearance. It rides on 225 by 55 R19 tires and a suspension featuring front McPherson struts and multi-link system in the rear. The CR-V SX9 automatic all-wheel drive is powered by a 1.6-liter DOHC IDTEC turbo diesel engine that generates 120 PS at 4,000 revolutions per minute and a maximum torque of 300 newton meters at 2,000 RPM. The engine drives all four wheels by a 9-speed automatic transmission. Stopping power comes from an all-wheel disc brake system ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The Mazda CX-8 FWD Signature is powered by a 2,488cc inline 4-cylinder DOHC 16-valve gasoline engine that generates 190 PS at 6,000 RPM and 252 Nm of torque at 4,000 RPM. The engine is mated to a Skyactiv drive 6-speed automatic transmission that drives the front wheels. Stopping power comes from an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The Honda CR-V SX exterior comes with most of the modern features expected in top-of-line SUVs. These include full LED auto-leveling headlights with auto on-off function. LED daytime running lights, sequential front turn lights, LED fog lights, side turn signal lights on side view mirrors that power adjust and fold, shark fin type antenna, auto rain sensing wipers, rear windshield defogger. It also comes with panoramic sunroof, roof rails, power tailgate with hands-free assist. 
The Mazda CX-8 Signature also comes with the latest in exterior features. These include, among others, adaptive LED headlamps, rain-sensing wipers, side mirror with power adjust and power fold function, power liftgate, and dual-type exhaust tailpipe. Interior comfort and convenience in the Honda CR-V SX starts with smart entry with push start system. Inside the cabin is enough room to sit seven adults comfortably in black leather upholstered seats. The third row splits 50-50. The driver's seat features eight-way power adjust with four-way lumbar support. The front passenger seat power adjusts four ways. The three-spoke leather upholstered steering wheel tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for the multi-info display on the TFT instrument cluster, audio, and hands-free phone. The top-of-line CRV comes with a full-color TFT instrument cluster, intelligent dual-zone automatic air conditioning system with rear aircon vents and center console and roof, two rear USB charging ports, the infotainment system features a 7-inch touchscreen advanced display audio with navigation system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, and plays through eight speakers that include four tweeters. The Mazda CX-8 also comes with smart keyless entry system. It sits seven in comfortable red Napa leather seats. The driver's seat features a 10-way power adjust with memory while the passenger seat has six-way power adjust. The CX-8 comes with electric power-assisted steering. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and feature controls for audio and Bluetooth. Other comfort and convenience features include dual-zone automatic climate control and power windows. Infotainment comes from a proprietary Mazda Connect with commander control that features an 8-inch display, two USB ports, DVD player, smartphone mirroring, and 10-speaker Bose sound system. The top-of-line Honda CR-V comes with a surfeit of active and passive safety system and technology. For safety, our G-Body, dual front SRS, side and side curtain airbags, the anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, three-point ELR seat belts for seven, ISOFIX and child safety lock. Helping driver to keep safe on the road are systems like Agile Handling Assist, Vehicle Stability Assist, Hill Start Assist, Honda Lane Watch, Multi-View Reverse Camera with Dynamic Guidelines, Front and Rear Corner Sensors, low tire pressure warning. For security, our walk-away auto lock and auto door unlock, and alarm and immobilizer. Then there's Honda Sensing, a suite of cutting-edge driver assist functions that include adaptive cruise control, low speed follow, collision mitigation braking systems, lane keep assist system, road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. Mazda also fully loaded the CX-8 FWD Signature with its latest active and passive safety technology. It comes with six airbags, ABS, EBD, dynamic stability control, child lock protection, front and rear parking sensors, 360-degree view camera. The CX-8 FWD Signature also features the functions of Mazda's iActiveSense Active Safety Package, Lane Keep Assist, Blind Spot Monitoring with Rear Cross Traffic Alert, and Standard Cruise Control. It also comes with Mazda's iStop system that shuts the engine when coming to a full stop and then restarting when vehicle returns to motion, thereby adding to fuel economy. While well, Japanese marks have the advantage of already having a base of loyal clientele built up over the years, 
they still have to work hard to keep clientele loyal and happy and to add more to their loyal base. Vehicles like CRV and the CX-8 should help their respective causes. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Seize every moment, even the unexpected ones. The all-new Ford Territory. Own the moment. Voting for the next Automobile of the Year is extended. To be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Just log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA 2020. Vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The city has been a reliable and prolific cash cow for Honda Cars Philippines for two decades now. Some years good, others even better. Then there are years when the city is best, usually when all new models are rolled out. It may be late in the year, but Honda has rolled out the all-new city. When the Honda City debuted in the Philippines back in 1996, it was billed as a subcompact sedan designed and built to meet the needs of the region. It was the entry-level Honda passenger sedan that offered the best value for money. An affordable Honda built with the quality and technology that made the Japanese marquee popular across the globe. Over the years and four generations, the Honda City has extended its reach and popularity beyond the Asian region. Honda Cars Philippines now rolls out the all-new Honda City to a local market still struggling to recover from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Mr. Masayuki Igarashi, President and CEO of Asian Honda Motor Company Limited and Chief Officer for Regional Operations of Honda Motor Company Limited for Asia and Oceania Region, led the digital preview of the fifth generation Honda City. The city was launched in 1996 as a regional model in response to the growing demand in the Asian market. It has become the car that offers the best value for money. Going beyond Asia, the city is now sold in more than 60 countries. It has become a strategic vehicle for many regions and has recorded around 4 million units sold globally. Ever since the Honda City debuted locally, the Philippines contributed a lot to the regional and global sales of the subcompact sedan. This was true up to the time before the COVID-19 pandemic locked down communities and shut down the economy. Regarding our sales performance in 2019, we had sold a total of 20,338 units. Honda City remained our best-selling model with approximately 7,600 units sold. That has 44% share in our passenger car lineup. For 2020, HCPI continues to be among the top 10 industry leaders in the country. We have already sold over 5,000 vehicles in the passenger car segment and around 2,600 vehicles in the commercial vehicle segment. During the online unveiling of the all-new city, Satoru Azumi, chief engineer and large project leader in the development of the fifth-generation city, explained the thinking behind its design and development. The 広い室内空間を構築し、低燃費かつパワフルなエンジンを搭載するといったすべての開発プロセスにおいてフィリピンのお客様のニーズをしっかりと調査し、それらの要素をすべてこの最新サブコンパクトセダンの。The all new city is bigger, more spacious, and featuring the latest automotive and smart technologies buyers now expect in top end models and marquees. It comes in four variants, the 1.5 RS CVT, 1.5 B CVT, City 1.5 S CVT, and the 1.5 S MT. All come standard with a new one push start system, while the 1.5 RS CVT and 1.5 B CVT have added smart entry keyless entry system. New are chrome front grille, front bumper, LED daytime running lights, halogen projection headlights, LED tail lamps, power adjustable door mirrors, with power folding door mirrors with integrated side turn signals. All variants are powered by a new 1.5 liter four cylinder DOHC IVTEC engine that generates 121 PS at 6,600 RPM and a maximum of 145 NM of torque at 4,300 RPM except for the base model 1.5 SMT. The all-new city comes with continuous variable transmission. The all-new Honda City now has even more sporty in its stylish design along with its new RS variant. Furthermore, its advanced technology and powerful yet efficient engine truly make it the best value sporty sedan. The all-new Honda City appears to have the looks, features, and smart automotive technology that could propel it back to the top of the subcompact passenger sedan market.
voting for the next automobile of the year is extended to be part of the 2020 2021 autofocus people's choice awards the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models just log on to bit.ly slash afpca 2020 vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020 2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. If you're one for a sporty drive, yet still need the comfort of a four-door sedan with the cachet of German luxury mark, or if you're one for a comfortable four-door sedan, yet want the looks and performance of a sporty automobile, check out the Mercedes-Benz E180 Avant-Garde.
if the Mercedes-Benz E180 Avant-Garde has convinced you, you'd be happy to know that Mercedes-Benz Philippines is offering huge discounts for most of the vehicles in its inventory. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we're going to be talking about brakes. Car brakes are pretty are simple enough to understand. Step on the pedal, car stops. Not much science, right? The reason it works that way is because modern braking works so flawlessly, everybody literally takes it for granted. Those things that you hear in the news that Oh, bumanga, sumemplang dal na wala ng preno. That's not true. That almost never happens. Even on a clunky Jeep, if there is brake fluid in there somewhere, that Jeep will stop. So there's no such thing as you lose brakes. No, that's not true. And on all cars now, you have a set of these. This brake. I'll dispel the first myth. Brakes do not stop your car. No. Tires stop your car. Brakes slow your car down, but tires are the ones that do the stopping. That's myth number one. Myth number two, disc brakes are better than drum brakes. Loaded question, but generally, no. <laughs> they work exactly in the same way, and actually in some instances, drum brakes are actually better. That's why you will still see majority of the cars here have disc brakes in the front, drum brakes at the back. Even the newer ones like the Nissan Terra has still drum brakes at the back because it works, it's efficient, and it's almost foolproof. <laughs> All right, myth number three. Nangangalawang yung preno ko eh. Normal ba yun? Yes, it's very normal. The material that your brake disc is made from is cast iron. It has to be cast iron because once this metal gets hot, it becomes somewhat malleable and ductile, which causes it to grip the brake pad even more. So it's somewhat sticky in metal terms. It cannot be stainless steel, it cannot be aluminum, it cannot be plastic, it cannot be brass, and it definitely cannot be gold. So yes, if it's iron or bakal, mga ngalawang yan, and that's perfectly normal. So this is what your stock disc brake looks like. Flat, pancake-looking frisbee thing. What you'll see most in people put is something like this. Same size as stock, but has dimples, sometimes holes, has these slots. These are referred to as racing brake rotors. Now, the big question, will my car stop better if I put this as opposed to this one? The honest answer, if you're just driving along Metro Manila, no. Your car will not stop faster because you have this. It will look better, but no. It will not reduce your stopping distance in any way. So why bother do you have stuff like this? Well, as the name implies, racing brake this. This comes into who play once you do actual racing. With the slots and the dimples, this is a bit cooler. You will not break any better because you have this, but it will allow you to stay on the race course longer by a lap, maybe two laps, and that's important in racing. Before your brake starts to fade and you have to go back to the pits, this is where this comes in. It cools down faster in, an, in a racing environment, but it will also come to a point that it will not cool down no more if you abuse the car too much. So once that happens, your brakes will start to fade, you will start to lose brakes. Then that means, okay, time to stop, time to go to the pit, cool down. These are actually the other equation of braking. And if you do want better braking, easiest and fastest is just, just change one of these things. The brake pads. They're cheap enough, they're plentiful enough, and they're pretty easy to do. You have a set of tools, a couple of friends, you can do this in one afternoon. So we have here different brake pad sizes and it does not take a genius to see which can brake better. Obviously, the big brake pad versus the small brake pad. And this is where the third part of the equation comes in, the brake caliper. This is your brake pad. This wears down. Its job is to keep wearing down. This is a friction material. This one presses along the disc here, both sides. If you don't have your foot on the pedal, it's slightly gapped like that. But once you press it, it will press down. Then it will cause this to slow down. This gets worn out over time. And the easiest way to see if it needs changing, you just simply take a look at it. 
you can see through your wheels and through the brake pads if it goes down to this line then yeah time to change and as this goes down as it wears down you will feel your brake pedal get deeper and deeper and deeper when you change to a fresh set of pads your brake pedal automatically becomes firm again just like magic now you can buy several different brands of this one there's of course OEM there's replacement there's Japanese replacement, there's Korean replacement, there's brand name performance brake pads. So which should you buy? Get whatever you can afford. It's come to a point that there's no such thing as a bad brake pad. All of them will stop your car. It's just that if you want something better, then you go for the brake pad brands that are known for performance, like Brembo is one that does OEM pads. EBC is another one. Hawk is another one. They have a different compound here that once it reaches operating temperature, allows it to grip the brake this more, causing you to slow down faster. Note I said slowing down, not stop. This is what actually applies the force from your foot down to the brakes itself. You can see these are the two brake pads here. That's the brake disc in there. So this will squeeze down on the brake disc once you press the pedal. This is a four piston caliper. Why is it four? Because there are literally four pistons here. So it's just one, two, three, four. There's four cylinders here. Your normal car has one, maybe two pistons at the most. That's it. This is a big brake setup. Why is it bigger? It's bigger than this standard rotor that's supposed to be for this Civic. And the way that it works, very simple, physics. The longer the distance here, this is basically a lever. The longer the distance, the more force you can generate by applying it on the end. So this is it. That's how big brakes work in essence. And then another myth that is proliferating has to do with big wheels. Why do all these supercars have big wheels that everybody wants to emulate? It's because the need to house bigger brakes. It's not just because it looks nice and has more grip. No, they have big wheels to so house big brakes. That's the only reason why supercars have big wheels. And on a final note, I always like to say, you can have too much power, but you can never have too much braking. So when do you want to upgrade your brakes? Oh, trust me, you will know the time comes. You will have one or two close calls and will say, that, oh, ugh, I should need to upgrade my brakes already. So there, now you have a better understanding of how your car brakes works and is it worth upgrading the brakes or not? Now you know. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's our focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy. <laughs>